Okay, welcome. This is a quick life support video uh, for fish. <laughs> All right, you're gonna need a few things. Uh, one, canister filters. If you have them, you're golden. After that, you're gonna need a car battery and a power inverter. Now, I got the call. I was teaching a dance class, and um, I was an hour away, and I get a call saying the power's been out since 4 o'clock. So when I got the call, the power had been out 6 hours. And I hauled over here. I, didn't, I couldn't remember where my power inverter was, so I bought one. It was uh, 425 watts. I wasn't planning on running much power, so it should make it through the night. Now, this is what I did. The first thing I did was uh, hooked up my power inverter here to my battery. Now, not all of you would be special enough to have, you know, the ultimate driving machine's battery for your whatever. This isn't about my ego. This is about you guys and saving your fish. So the first thing I hooked up when I got home was this bubbler that's running both sides. This is Goldfinner right here. I'm very, very happy that she's alive and will be breathing oxygen tonight. That's Dwight Lightfin in the background way back there. He's a very elusive bastard. But anyways, back to what we're doing here. Let's save these fish. Now, I have four Eheim canisters running back here. And the way I set up these lines was so you couldn't confuse them when you're hooking them back up. So this is an inlet line right here. And this is an outlet line. So what I did was connect this one here in line. The output of this canister runs to the input of this canister. And so on till we get to number three and number four. And then I plugged the last canister into the power inverter here. Which is now, if you can see... Spitting out water right there. So, I'm only rocking in the neighborhood of 160 gallons an hour right now, but that 160 gallons an hour is running through almost five gallons of media. So, that water coming out right there is pristine. Well, it's probably my bacteria probably died, but it'll be building up bacteria over the night uh, pretty fast. But some filtration has taken place, so that's good. Um, there's also activated carbon and ammonia eating chips in each one of these in nylon socks, so that's good. At least ammonia is being taken care of, and like I said, we're gonna try to detoxify this water a little bit. And there's hella oxygenation taking place on both sides, and you can see up here these bubbles go up the water moves this way which is oxygenating it even more so that's what's taking place and um, also I've also hooked up a battery jumper to this battery so it's this battery is full I make sure that it's maintained and ready it's for my race car that's not being ran right now I got to rebuild the engine but this bad boy right here, two thirds power, it usually drops down a third, like after you've so much as ran that little light right there. But right now, this little ditty is taking all of the power from this. It will kill this off before it drains one watt out of this battery. So I got no problems killing this one. I'd rather not kill this one because it's, ugh, it's like a $250 battery. Um, so yeah, but that's how that works out. Like I said, if you have multiple Eheim canisters, make sure that you can run them in line for such emergencies. Now, even without this power inverter and the bubbler running, uh, you can go ahead and do the same thing that I did here. And then on the last one, don't send it back up to the tank. Go ahead and just let it naturally siphon down into a container, multiple containers. And then, you'll, as soon as you fill your first one up, you'll 
put another uh, put your output from the canister into the next container and now you'll put this container up top and then you'll hook up a siphon to it so you just start a siphon bam and let it slowly fill out into this one and then you can literally take gallons out of this one filling up down here and pour them into that tote the container you have siphoning down into this so that pouring action will oxygenate your water and it will be a baby life support system but if you have it in your means to have an extra battery and a power inverter do it um yeah so that was uh this is the emergency here uh they've been out of power for seven hours and they were all swimming at the top and I just hooked this whole thing up five minutes ago and they're all acting normal so apparently they've got oxygen again and within the next couple of hours they'll have adequate filtration again so uh, it looks like they're gonna make it through the night so uh, thank you for watching <laughs>